Welcome to our comprehensive guide on liquidity mining, a decentralized finance, DeFi, practice that is gaining traction in the cryptocurrency domain. Liquidity mining is a process where individuals supply their crypto assets to liquidity pools on decentralized exchanges, thereby facilitating smoother trading experiences for others and earning rewards in return. The allure of liquidity mining lies in its potential to generate passive income. By participating, individuals can earn transaction fees based on the trading activity that occurs in their supplied liquidity pool. Additionally, they may receive governance tokens, which not only further incentivize participation but also empower them with a say in the platform's decision-making processes. Did you know that the total value locked, TVL, in DeFi platforms has soared from a mere $1 billion in 2020 to over $80 billion in 2022? This exponential growth underscores the burgeoning interest and trust in decentralized financial systems, with liquidity mining being a pivotal component of this ecosystem. By the end of this video, you will have a solid grasp of what liquidity mining entails, its inherent benefits, risks, and how you can get involved. We will delve into the mechanics of liquidity mining, explore real-world examples, and provide you with a well-rounded understanding to help you make informed decisions in your crypto endeavors. So, stay tuned till the end to unlock the potential of liquidity mining in the decentralized finance landscape. A. Explaining the basic concept of liquidity pools, as we venture into the realm of liquidity mining, it's crucial to understand the cornerstone of this practice, liquidity pools. A liquidity pool is essentially a reservoir of funds provided by individuals, known as liquidity providers, on a decentralized exchange, DEX. These pools hold pairs of cryptocurrencies, allowing users to trade one asset for another seamlessly. The larger the liquidity pool, the easier it is for users to execute trades without significantly affecting the price of the assets. B. Describing the role of liquidity providers. Liquidity providers play a pivotal role in this ecosystem. By depositing their crypto assets into liquidity pools, they facilitate a smoother trading environment on the DEX. In return for their contribution, liquidity providers earn a portion of the transaction fees generated from the trading activity within the pool. This mechanism creates a win-win scenario, where traders enjoy better price stability, and liquidity providers earn rewards for their service. C. Mentioning decentralized exchanges, DEXs, and how they facilitate liquidity mining. Decentralized exchanges, or DEXs, are at the heart of liquidity mining. Unlike traditional centralized exchanges, DEXs operate without a central authority, offering a permissionless and transparent trading environment. Liquidity mining is a practice born out of the decentralized ethos of DEXs, allowing anyone to contribute liquidity and in turn, earn rewards. The symbiotic relationship between DEXs and liquidity providers is what fuels the liquidity mining ecosystem. D. Discussing the incentive mechanism for liquidity providers. The incentive mechanism in liquidity mining is designed to encourage more individuals to supply assets to liquidity pools. Apart from earning transaction fees, liquidity providers often receive governance tokens from the DEX. These tokens serve a dual purpose, they act as an additional reward for liquidity providers and grant them voting rights in the governance of the DEX. This way, liquidity providers are not only compensated for their contribution but also have a stake in the platform's future decisions, making liquidity mining an engaging and potentially rewarding venture. A. Delving into the process of supplying assets to liquidity pools. Now that we have a basic understanding of liquidity pools and the role of liquidity providers, let's delve deeper into the process of supplying assets to these pools. Liquidity providers deposit pairs of cryptocurrencies into a liquidity pool, often in equal value. For instance, if you were to supply liquidity to a pool containing Ethereum and USDC, you would deposit an equal value of both assets. This balanced contribution helps maintain price stability within the pool and facilitates seamless trading for other users. B. Explaining the concept of earning transaction fees. One of the primary incentives for liquidity providers is the opportunity to earn transaction fees. Every time a trade occurs within the liquidity pool they've contributed to, a small fee is charged to the trader. A portion of this fee is then distributed to liquidity providers based on their share of the pool. Essentially, the more liquidity one provides, the larger the share of transaction fees they stand to earn. This mechanism creates a continuous stream of passive income for liquidity providers, rewarding them for their crucial role in the ecosystem. C. Introducing governance tokens and their significance. In addition to earning transaction fees, liquidity providers often receive governance tokens from the decentralized exchange. These tokens are incredibly significant as they represent a form of decision-making power within the platform. 
Holders of governance tokens can propose and vote on changes to the platform, such as fee structures, token listings, and other operational aspects. This democratic approach fosters a community-driven ecosystem where the stakeholders have a say in the platform's evolution. D. Discussing the risks associated with liquidity mining. While liquidity mining presents an attractive opportunity for earning passive income, it's not without its risks. One of the primary risks is known as impermanent loss, which occurs when the price of the deposited assets fluctuates significantly. Additionally, the smart contracts that govern liquidity pools could have vulnerabilities, posing a risk of loss of funds. It's imperative that potential liquidity providers are aware of these risks, conduct thorough research, and exercise caution when participating in liquidity mining. A. Explaining impermanent loss and its implications. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of liquidity mining, it's crucial to understand the concept of impermanent loss. Impermanent loss occurs when the price of the assets in a liquidity pool diverges from the price at which they were initially deposited. This divergence can lead to a situation where the liquidity provider might have been better off holding onto their assets rather than depositing them into the pool. It's termed, impermanent, as the loss can be mitigated if the asset prices return to their original state, but it's a risk that every liquidity provider should be cognizant of. b. Discussing other potential risks and challenges. Apart from impermanent loss, there are other risks associated with liquidity mining. Smart contract vulnerabilities are a significant concern as they could lead to loss of funds if exploited by malicious actors. Additionally, regulatory uncertainties surrounding decentralized finance, DeFi, could pose challenges for liquidity providers. The evolving nature of regulations could impact the operation and accessibility of DeFi platforms, thereby affecting liquidity mining practices. C. Mentioning how to mitigate risks in liquidity mining. Mitigating risks in liquidity mining involves a combination of due diligence, education, and cautious practice. It's advisable to thoroughly research and understand the DeFi platforms and liquidity pools you are considering. Utilizing platforms with a strong security track record, transparent operational practices, and a robust community can be beneficial. Moreover, diversifying your liquidity provisions across different pools and platforms can help spread and mitigate potential risks. D. Highlighting the importance of due diligence and research. In conclusion of this segment, the importance of due diligence cannot be overstated. The decentralized nature of liquidity mining means that the onus of understanding and managing risks falls on the individual. Engaging with reputable sources of information, participating in community discussions, and staying updated with the latest developments in the DeFi space are crucial steps in ensuring a well-informed and safe liquidity mining experience. A. Introducing a popular platform for liquidity mining, e.g., Uniswap. Let's transition from theory to practice by exploring a real-world example of liquidity mining on Uniswap, one of the most popular decentralized exchanges, DEXs, in the crypto space. Uniswap facilitates automated liquidity provision on the Ethereum blockchain, making it a go-to platform for liquidity providers and traders alike. B. Walking through the process of supplying assets and earning rewards on Uniswap. On Uniswap, becoming a liquidity provider is a straightforward process. You would select a liquidity pool that pairs two assets, say, Ethereum, ETH, and USDC. After depositing an equal value of both assets into the pool, you'll receive LP, liquidity provider, tokens representing your share of the pool. As trades occur within this pool, transaction fees are generated and distributed to liquidity providers based on their share. You can claim your share of the fees anytime by redeeming your LP tokens. C. Explaining the specific benefits and risks associated with Uniswap. The benefits of providing liquidity on Uniswap include earning a share of the transaction fees and potentially receiving additional rewards through various incentive programs. However, the risks like impermanent loss are also present. If the price ratio of your deposited assets changes significantly, you could experience impermanent loss, which might offset the earnings from transaction fees. It's essential to weigh the potential rewards against the risks before participating. D. Highlighting any unique features or considerations of Uniswap. Uniswap has some unique features that set it apart. Its automated market making, AMM, system ensures that the platform remains fully decentralized and permissionless. Additionally, Uniswap's governance token, UNI, allows liquidity providers to participate in the platform's governance decisions. The active community and transparent operations of Uniswap make it a reputable platform in the DeFi space, although like all DeFi platforms, it requires a good understanding and acceptance of the associated risks. A. Introducing another platform for liquidity mining, e.g., SushiSwap. 
Now, let's explore another notable platform in the DeFi space, SushiSwap. SushiSwap is a decentralized exchange that also employs an automated market-making, AMM, system similar to Uniswap. However, it has its unique features and community-driven approach that distinguish it from other platforms. b. Walking through the process of supplying assets and earning rewards on SushiSwap. The process of becoming a liquidity provider on SushiSwap is quite similar to Uniswap. You would choose a pair of assets, deposit an equal value of both assets into the designated liquidity pool, and receive LP tokens representing your share of the pool. As trades occur within your pool, a portion of the transaction fees is accrued to you based on your share. Additionally, SushiSwap has a unique feature called, Sushi Bar, where you can stake your Sushi tokens to earn additional rewards. C. Explaining the specific benefits and risks associated with SushiSwap. SushiSwap offers a competitive fee structure for liquidity providers and additional earning opportunities through its Sushi token. By staking Sushi tokens in the Sushi Bar, liquidity providers can earn a share of the platform's revenue. However, the risks of impermanent loss and smart contract vulnerabilities remain. It's crucial to understand the platform's fee structure, incentive programs, and the potential risks before deciding to provide liquidity on SushiSwap. D. Highlighting any unique features or considerations of SushiSwap. One of the unique features of SushiSwap is its strong community-driven governance model. Sushi token holders have a significant say in the platform's development and operational decisions. Moreover, SushiSwap has been known for its innovative approaches in the DeFi space, including the introduction of new yield farming opportunities and collaboration with other DeFi projects. Its active community and continuous innovation make SushiSwap an interesting platform for those looking to delve deeper into liquidity mining. As we conclude our exploration into liquidity mining, let's recap the key points. Liquidity mining is a decentralized finance practice where individuals supply their crypto assets to liquidity pools on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and SushiSwap. In return, they earn transaction fees and potentially governance tokens, enabling a passive income stream and a stake in the platform's governance. The world of liquidity mining opens up a realm of possibilities within the decentralized finance ecosystem. We encourage you to delve deeper, explore different platforms, and engage with the community to broaden your understanding. Remember, the DeFi space is ever-evolving, and staying updated with the latest developments is crucial for making informed decisions. The decentralized finance landscape is dynamic and rapidly evolving. Staying updated with the latest developments, regulatory changes, and community discussions is essential for navigating the liquidity mining space effectively. Engage with reputable sources of information, follow updates from the platforms you are interested in, and consider joining community forums to stay abreast of the latest insights and trends. We appreciate you taking the time to explore liquidity mining with us. If you found this guide informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful content on decentralized finance and cryptocurrency. Your support helps us create more educational content for the community. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to guiding you through more exciting topics in the decentralized finance realm.